What's going on guys? Welcome back to WDYD CSP. What do you do as a central sterile processor? Guys, today we're going back to decontamination and we're talking receiving trays from our customers. All right guys, so you have a good relationship with your customers. This is what you should be seeing coming into decontamination after use, okay? Instruments back on the stringer, all the instruments that belong in the basket in the basket. Um, preferably if they are um, really taking care of you, the sharps are separated from the regular instruments, but because they're back on a stringer, this is showing care um, for safety because now you don't have to reach in the basket to get these sharps. They're all on the stringer, very easily accessible, right? Now, again, as you can see, this instrument set looks very clean, um, which it should look as clean as possible. There's, there's gonna be some soil on there, but you should see either a pretreatment spray or a moist towel over the set um, to keep the instruments moist um, as they're being transported over to Decon. Now, this instrument set is in its container. So in Decon, what we wanna do is we wanna separate the basket from the container. Hey, don't forget to show the container some love, guys. The container also is a medical device. So you wanna go ahead and rinse, clean this and rinse it and then place it in the appropriate processing step afterwards, whether it's a manual clean a automated clean, whatever the, whichever one it is. If it's a manual clean, then this requires a rinse, a soak, a wipe down, a final rinse, dried and sent through the window. If it's an automated process, then we're manually prepping it. We're rinsing it off very well, removing all the gross soils that we can possibly see, give it another rinse, and then place it into, because we're rinsing out any pre-treatment that's in there, removing all our uh, gross soils. We may use a sponge of some sort to wipe out the interior and exterior of the basket. Make sure to remove any consumables such as lot sticker cards. Um, if the uh, count sheet is hanging on the, on the um, handles or any tags or anything of that nature, then you're gonna place this either in your washer disinfector or preferably your cart washer, right? To clean your containers, right? So you want to place that in there. But we're talking about our instrument set. So this is what our instrument set should look like. And um, depending on, your flow should always be the same from dirty to clean. Now, whether that's left to right or right to left, I mean, it depends on your facility, right? Um, but you have your three sink setup. Um, and however, you're going to set that up as well. Um, it's nice to have an adjacent workstation, right? Because your first step in decontamination is to sort your instrumentation set, right? This is not the way that this can be um, rinsed, soaked, and then you're gonna try and take this apart to clean it. It can't go into the ultrasound like this. It can't go into the washer like this, guys. It has to be sorted. It has to be broken down. So if you have a workstation, that'd be great. So the first thing you want to do is you want to remove your stringer. See how nice that is to remove all your instruments and then everything else in the bottom is visual. Now in decontamination, you will see, okay, you're going to look in your basket. Well, here's two consumables in here. You want to get rid of those, throw them in the trash and then everything else you want to get out of here. Now you, again, you want to be visual in there and look for those sharps. If you can't see those sharps, guys, even with uh, general utility gloves, please be careful reaching in there because those sharps will penetrate these gloves very easily, right? So grab the things out of here that you can see that's big, forceps, suctions, things of that nature. You wanna pull all that out, right? And then work your way to the smaller items that you can't see very well, right? Okay, take all your items out of here. And as you can see, I see another retractor in here and I see two skin hooks and I'm gonna use the retractor to get those skin hooks out of there, right? And you're gonna place them all to the side because again, now remember your basket is a medical device as well. So you wanna rinse that off very well. Any consumables that are in there, get rid of them. If they left the liner in there, if you're using liners, get rid of the liners, any indicators, any tip protectors, blah, blah, blah. 
rinse this off very well to remove any chemistry, any gross soils. Um, and this, again, if it has feet, the feet should be on there, right? Now this basket, my flow is going from dirty to clean, okay, goes to my clean, to the cleaner area, right? Now you don't wanna soak this yet, right? In your soak sink, um, you wanna have this readily available because what you're gonna do is you're gonna rinse all your items off to remove all the gross soils, um, place your suctions off to the side because your suctions need to be flushed and brushed. And then you're gonna place everything back into the basket to prep it to the next step. If that's manual preparation, then your items go back in the basket organized, right? Organized in a manner that will facilitate the best cleaning in the mechanical action that you're gonna use, whether that be the ultrasonic, whether that be the washer disinfector, or both, okay? Remember, in the ultrasonic, items should not be cluttered in there, right? Shouldn't be no clutter in there. You see how hard it is to pick up items, right? With these utility gloves. Um, but you wanna grab all your items and try not to stack them as much as possible, okay? You wanna flat in the bottom of this container. Your stringer, guys, your stringer, okay? Your, your sharps place over to the side there, okay? Your stringer now is you wanna take your instruments out, Place your stringer in the bottom, and then for your instrumentation, this is what I suggest for safety. Okay, and I'm not gonna go through this whole process, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like when we get over to the prep and pack side. All your instrumentation should be open to the fullest extent that it can open, right? For anything that's sharp, okay? I know standing straight up is best practice, but for sharp safety of your peer, I recommend that you open your instruments up to the fullest extent and lay them curved side down into the basket, okay? So if people are digging in there, they're not going directly into a sharp, right? They can scoop from the back. They'll see that in the bottom of their baskets. Anything that's sharp, that's including perforating tile clips and all of your scissors, right? Take all of your scissors and open them up you know, at the fullest extent, curve side down, lay them in the bottom of your basket. Now, when you're organizing your instruments to place them in the basket, okay, it's best, you don't have to organize them by like instruments, but you do wanna organize them by length, right? It's easier to open them up and stand them straight up according to length. So you wanna grab a group of instruments after you fully rinse this to remove all the gross soil, and then you're gonna stand them up in your tray, preferably straight up like so, okay? This is how you wanna organize your instruments, right? And you wanna do that for all the instruments that you can do so without it overlapping the instruments or too far above the instrument tray, right? Okay, so you wanna do this in a nice organized fashion, just like this. And sometimes it can be a little difficult, but you wanna go ahead and organize that just like that for all the instruments that you can do that with. And it's easier to do it with instruments that are of the same length, okay? When you get to instruments that are too long, guys, okay, such as these, okay, your instrument, especially in this small basket, these instruments aren't gonna fit in the basket standing straight up. So you have to open them up to the best you possibly can and lay them flat on the bottom of the tray in the open position. You will get the same cleaning action, guys. It's not gonna be anything different. Remember, your irrigation or your, um, yes, your irrigation and your, um, not your cannulation because that, that not, not your cavitation because cavitation is in the ultrasonic your uh, impingement is from top to bottom, not side to side. So you're gonna get the same cleaning action. After you have flushed and brushed all of your suctions, you wanna place them on a angle where you can get drainage. So you wanna go ahead and angle them in your basket so you get good drainage of your um, suctions when you place them through your next step. All right, guys, as always, stay true to yourselves, keep it 100, continue educating yourself. Until next time.
Peace.